Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are looking at 10 things you still didn't know were a thing in New Horizons. It's definitely a fun one, so without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So we are now something like 16 months into the release of Animal Crossing New Horizons, which is crazy when you consider just how long we waited for the game to actually release. Furthermore, we are now fully caught up with all of the latest content that was released in the most recent 1.10 update, with the last few seasonal items having just been distributed over the last few days. Now, just recently, the president of Nintendo of America confirmed there are over 33 million islands out in the wild, making Animal Crossing New Horizons the best-selling Switch game in the last year and the second best selling Switch game of all time, which means the community surrounding New Horizons is constantly growing too with tens of thousands of new players every single week which is absolutely phenomenal. So with this in mind I thought it'd be fun to break down 10 things that you probably didn't know were a thing in New Horizons and hopefully even the most experienced players will learn something new. So please leave a like if you're excited for secrets and let's get to it. Number 1. Crafting with Villagers Now as you know the crafting mechanic in New Horizons is fairly important, especially if you're looking to collect all of the items available in the game. The crafting benches we need to craft these things are literally everywhere, including a small one located in the upgraded resident services which goes unnoticed by many. However something you probably didn't know is, if you happen to find a villager who's inside their house crafting something of their own, it's entirely possible to stand next to them and craft something alongside them so it looks like you're both hard at work. It can be a little tricky to achieve and it doesn't really mean anything but it's pretty cute. Number 2. Secret Hairstyle Animal Crossing New Horizons is full of charming details, including little animations and reactions used by players and villagers alike. This helps create the wonderfully immersive experience we all know and love. However, one animation in particular is not only pretty rare, but even unlocks a secret hairstyle. If you boot up your game after not playing for some time, your character will wake up with messy bed hair before quickly styling it back to normal. Not only is this the only time you can really encounter this animation, but it actually unlocks the messy hairstyle for you to use the first time you do it. Of course time travellers probably already know this but if you play regularly and in real time you probably haven't seen this yet. Number 3 Pascal's Munchies now, speaking of adorable animations, you may want to take a closer look at Pascal next time you encounter him. As you know, Pascal will track you down once a day whenever you catch a scallop by diving underwater. He's pretty persistent in asking you to hand it over before taking it, rewarding you and leaving. However, Pascal hasn't actually gone that far and can still be seen floating along the fence line after your encounter. If you swim up to him and watch carefully, you will be able to see a very adorable animation as Pascal stops to eat his scallop. Again, it doesn't really mean anything but it's an adorable detail to say the least. Number 4. Hidden Bug now this is an actual bug like a critter, not an in-game bug or glitch like it sounds. If you head to the museum and into the exhibit that Blathers enjoys the least and make your way past the lab area, there is in fact a hidden bug that can only be spotted at specific angles. If you walk over to the far corner and pull out your camera then move up, you will find one of the critters has managed to escape and has settled high up on the wall. Apparently a different bug appears depending on the time of day, so it's a pretty strange detail. However, this does certainly add some character to the room much like the ants that are also making their escape. Number 5. Nook Miles now one focus of Animal Crossing New Horizons is completing goals and daily tasks in order to earn Nook Miles. The ordinary Nook Mile goals include long term tasks like learning reactions and befriending villagers, whereas the Nook Mile Plus tasks are based around a variety of smaller daily tasks including selling shells or planting flowers. Once a goal is reached the Nook phone displays an alert to let you know, which is super handy. However a tiny detail that is often missed is that the alerts differ depending on whether it was a Nook Miles goal or a Nook Miles Plus goal. For example, if a plus goal has been reached, a tiny plus icon is also displayed in the alert. This helps you identify which, as some players may like to collect the plus goals instantly to make space for new ones. Number 6. Donated 
As you know, one of the many side quests in Animal Crossing is to catch bugs, fish and deep sea creatures. We can keep them as pets, sell them or donate one of each of them to the museum for the good of the community. Of course, the longer you play and the more critters you catch, it can be tricky to know what you have or haven't yet donated. However, thanks to another very much hidden notification, it's pretty easy to find out. If you head to your Critopedia and highlight a critter, it shows you instantly whether or not you've already donated one. If you see a little owl icon, you've officially donated one to Blathers already. It's a very useful feature indeed. Number seven, special posters. As you know, it's entirely possible to scan one of hundreds of available Animal Crossing amiibo cards and invite villagers to the campsite, or villagers and special characters to Half's cabin. This is a pretty fun aspect of the game and even offers special rewards for doing so. Upon scanning an amiibo, you unlock special poster items that can then be ordered from the Nookstop terminal and aren't to be confused with the villager photos. However, this function is not limited to only the characters currently in the game. It's actually possible to scan any any special character amiibo such as Capin or Brewster to unlock their poster which is pretty neat. I believe Nintendo removed the ability to catalog posters so the only way to obtain posters like this and for characters not in the game is to receive it as a gift or unlock them yourself. Number 8 Brewster Speaking of Brewster, it's probably not known or long forgotten at this point, but Brewster was actually part of the game since launch, at least until the 1.2 update a couple of months in. It turns out lazy villagers would often name drop him in their dialogue, whilst the villager was referencing just how many cups of coffee they had consumed. Sadly, this dialogue was removed after the 1.2 update and has yet to return. Now, if Brewster's poster and some random dialogue isn't enough for you, you can relax in knowing that Brewster also features as a drawer on the back of the texture of KK Slider's guitar. You can't really see it, but it's there. Number nine, Mailbox. Now, the mailbox in New Horizon serves a very important purpose and receives and saves a bunch of our mail. It's pretty useful. However, a super awesome detail that people still seem to miss is that it's actually possible to pick up your mailbox and move it anywhere you want. You can place it near the airport, on top of a cliff, or even just carry it around with you until you need it. All you have to do is stand in front of it and press the B button to pick it up like any other item. The only catch is you have to have unlocked the left room and paid off your debt before being able to move it. However, this is a very real and very cool feature that many people miss. Number 10, Hanger. Now, this isn't really a secret and doesn't affect the game at all. In fact, it probably doesn't mean anything, but there's a super tiny detail that may have more meaning than you realize. As you know, it's possible to head into the Able Sisters and into the changing room to purchase a new outfit. The downside is the game only lets you purchase one outfit at a time. But why? Well, it's possible that it's because the Able Sisters has only provided one single clothing hanger indicated there's only space for one outfit at a time. Of course, this is probably because you can only get one outfit, but it's a nice detail nevertheless and may even be just a coincidence, but I thought it was a pretty neat detail nevertheless. So there we have it, that was 10 secrets and hidden details or features that you probably didn't know were a thing in New Horizons. But what did you think about these details? Did you know you could move your mailbox and have you already unlocked Brewster's poster? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up this video of course. I'd like to thank all of the Patreon and channel members for supporting this content and helping me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. As always, if you made it to the end of the video, be sure to leave a like and comment Pascal just to let me know you did that would be super awesome and please be sure to include any other super tiny details you've spotted i'd love to know anyway until next time have an amazing day stay safe and i'll see you in my next video peace